Welcome to the Smoke Learning Channel. This video series deals with working on various CGI render passes in Autodesk Smoke. We have got to the point where we have composited the main beauty render pass over the background. The CGI smoke was too bright, so we used a color correct node to darken it and bring back some of the detail. However, the main beauty render pass comprises of all the CGI elements. This means that the robot and football were also darkened. Ideally, it is better to work with the CGI elements separately for more control. So having a look at the SHOT1 folder in the default library, we have a list of imported render passes. There are separate render passes for the robot and the football. Unfortunately, there are no separate render passes for the CGI smoke. However, we have enough of the render passes to build the CGI smoke pass in Autodesk Smoke. What we actually need is an alpha of the CGI smoke to break it away from the other CGI elements in the main beauty pass. So looking at the Connect Effect schematic, you can select the alpha of the main beauty pass. We can clearly see where the smoke, robot and football are mixed together. The plan is to subtract the robot and the football from the render pass to create a unique alpha for the CGI smoke. Go back to the SHOT1 folder in the default library and locate the mat passes for the robot and football at the bottom of the list. Hold COMMAND and click on the mat robot and mat ball render passes to select them. Drag into the Connect Effect schematic. So we want to subtract these two elements from the main alpha. Let's first combine these two alphas together and then subtract the result from the main render pass. Hover over the Connect Effects node bin and press B for Blend and Comp. Drag a Blend and Comp node out and drop it in front of the two alpha render passes. Take the output from the football alpha and connect that into the first red front input of the Blend and Comp node. Now take the output from the robot alpha and connect that into the second red front input of the Blend and Comp node. In this case, the Blend and Comp node is simply performing an addition operation and combining the two alpha passes together. Now let's subtract this from the alpha of the main beauty render pass. Hover over the node bin again and press L for Logic Op. Drag the Logic Op node to intersect in the connection between the main beauty pass alpha and the original Blend and Comp node. We are now disrupting the alpha that is being used to composite the main CGI beauty pass over the video background. Notice the dot on the Logic Op node. It is telling you that it does not have all the inputs required to function correctly. The result viewer is also greyed out and a warning symbol is displayed in the bottom right hand corner. To correctly apply the Logic Op node, drag the result out of the Blend and Comp node. Connect it into the second green input of the Logic Op node. The warning symbols will disappear and the viewer will update. Double click on the Logic Op node to bring up its controls. The Logic Op node performs the same blend functions as the Blend and Comp but with fewer controls. Change the Blend mode from ADD to SUBTRACT. The result view goes black because we are subtracting the main render pass from the combined football and robot render pass. You can either reconnect the inputs going into the Logic Op node or enable SWAP inputs to swap the inputs around inside the node. So the football and robot are almost gone, but not completely. Why has this happened? In this case, the white values in the main render pass alphas are higher than the white values in the separated render passes. If the white values in all the render passes had been the same, then the CGI elements would have properly been subtracted out of the Logic Op node. Since this is not the case with this example, we can still adjust these white values in Autodesk Smoke because we are working in a float point environment. 
we want to keep an eye on what is happening inside the logic op node as we boost the white values in the separate render passes. To do this, hold the dash keyboard shortcut and click on the logic op node. The context indicator appears under the node. Hover over the result viewer and press CTRL1 to show the context viewer. Now double click on the blend and comp node that combines the separate elements together. We have colour controls to adjust the input 1 and input 2 separately, but the combined result needs to be brightened. So in this case, it makes sense to brighten the output of this node. Under the result output controls, start increasing the luminance of the result. By setting the luma value to 105, we have brightened the whites enough so that it fully subtracts itself at the logic op node. So looking at the contextual view of the logic op node, we now have a separate alpha render pass for the CGI smoke. Hold the dash keyboard shortcut and click on the logic op node to remove the contextual viewer. Now select the blend and comp node at the top of the node tree. Hover over the view and press F4 to see the result viewer. So there is the CGI smoke minus the other elements. So now we can reintroduce the robot and football separately. This means more control over how each element is seen in the comp. For example, select the main beauty render pass and scrub the result. There is no motion blur on the robot or football. This is something we can add now without having to go back to Autodesk Maya. In the next video, we will use a motion vector pass from Autodesk Maya to add motion blur to the robot. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Smoke Learning channel for future videos.